English ID 1B7. Your reflection. Homework 7.1. When did you start school? Actividades. El primero nos dice. Words to complete a G about any White House. Copy the letters and discover the circuit. Entonces, vamos a completar estos crucigramas. El arco al hacer. Son palabras. Por ejemplo, she got married to Blake in 2007. She was in London. Luego de completamos todo, tenemos que atender los números. Por ejemplo, cada letra representa un número. Ahora tenemos 20, es en la N, entonces tenemos 20. ¿no? Vamos a M. Y de ahí vamos a completar un ejercicio. En el siguiente ejercicio... Vamos a escuchar una biografía y encerrar el título de la palabra que escuchamos. La biografía de Tupac, Tupac Shakur. Audio 7.1 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 Tupac Shakur was born on June 16, 1971 in New York City. His parents were militants in political movements, and their ideas influenced Tupac's music. He started to work as an actor at the age of 13, and studied at Baltimore School of the Arts until he turned 17. He released his first solo album in 1991, but success arrived for him after his second album, with the songs I Get Around and Keep Your Head Up. Tupac's legal problems started after he established his rap career. He used a gun against a police officer in October 1993, and in November 1993, a woman accused him of sexual assault. A jury sentenced Shakur to serve time in prison. Then, in November 1994, two armed men attacked him. He didn't stay in the hospital for a long time, contradicting doctor's orders. He served his sentence in prison until October 1995. And then he released his fourth album, which is considered one of the best rap albums of the decade. On September 7, 1996, Tupac and his friends were in Las Vegas to see the boxing match between Mike Tyson and Bruce Seldon. After the match, he and his friends were in their car when another car stopped near them and its occupants fired many gunshots at Shakur and his friends. Shakur died in the hospital that afternoon at the age of 25. <laughs> que nos pide otra vez escuchar y leer la biografía y señalar en tres oraciones cuáles son true, cuáles son false y non mentioned, o sea que no son mencionadas. Si una oración consideramos que es verdadera, sea true, colocamos una T al lado. Según la oración, consideramos que es falsa acorde a nuestro texto. Colocamos una F al lado. Según una oración que está aquí no se encuentra en nuestro texto, entonces colocamos una N al lado. Ahora tenemos un audio para practicar. Audio 7.2 Study English Last weekend 
Joe studied English last weekend. Start school in 1990. Joe started school in 1990. Now you do it. Study English last weekend. Joe studied English last weekend. Start school in 1990. Joe started school in 1990. Turn 30 last Sunday. Joe turned 30 last Sunday. Arrive at work late this morning. Joe arrived at work late this morning. Use a cell phone to call his mother. Joe used a cell phone to call his mother. Stay at home last night. Joe stayed at home last night. Stop smoking three months ago. He stopped smoking three months ago. Para el último ejercicio, tenemos que escribir la biografía de Whitney Houston. Utilizando la información que tenemos aquí. Por ejemplo, born August 9, 1963, New York, New Jersey. Entonces, she was born. She recorded her first album in nineteen eighty. Entonces tenemos que atender porque vamos a encontrar verbos en pasado. Que van a ser regulares o irregulares, de hecho que aquí se nos presenta en su forma definitiva, la forma normal. Y también tenemos que recordar las preposiciones con in, at, of, y donde tenemos que colocar según nuestras reglas. Recuerden ver el diagrama antes de realizar ejercicio.